Hey guys, I am starting my supercharger install. So far I have my intake, this portion of the intake off. I'm about to take off my throttle body. Uh, right now I am currently draining the coolant. So I'm just waiting for it to uh, drain. So I can go ahead and finish off uh, taking off the throttle body because of the coolant lines. After that, I'm going to attempt to uh, take off the manifold and the fuel rail. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, coolant is drained and I got the throttle body off along with the spacer. As you can see here, here's the RBC with the inlet exposed. Uh, now I'm gonna try to take off the fuel rail. Uh, you have to uh, unclip the uh, fuel rail from here. Some fuel will leak out, and uh, you go ahead and start removing the the ground here and the two nuts that hold the fuel rail in. And then after that, you can unclip the four clips for each of the four injectors. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get started. All right, once you remove this cover from this line here, all you have to do is um, pinch this down and you can pull this out. A little bit of fuel will leak out, but uh, it's fairly simple. It's uh, not difficult at all. And uh, once you do that, you have to uh, remove this bolt and this bolt and uh, this bolt right here. And then all you have to do is unclip the clips that clip onto the injectors. There's four of them. And then you have to pinch this. Well, actually, you have to move this apart and pull the fuel rail out. So now it's loose. And then you can move this out of the way for now. For now, let's just move it out here. So it will give us more access to the manifold and the fuel um, rail, which is this thing. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. It's pretty late out right now. It's like 12.30 a.m. So as far as I got, I still have the RBC on there and then take manifold still on there. All the bolts are off, but um, what's um, keeping me from taking out the manifold are these two studs. These, uh, these nuts are loose. I just put it back on to hold it for the night. But these studs are keeping the manifold from coming out. So right now I can't um, take it out. A buddy of mine is gonna come tomorrow to um, help me out. This uh, part right here, this water line, it's, um, when you try to pull it out, it hits this. So um, that's why you can't take it out. There's a bolt here that holds this line right here. I took it off, but it's still pretty, uh, pretty stiff on there. I believe this nut over here also holds it, but um, it's hard to get to. Um, my socket can't reach it and my wrench can't reach it so um, I try to figure out tomorrow morning or later this morning so I'll just uh, let me just know I still got the belt off and I got the idler uh, pulley and bracket off next I'm gonna have to try to get this uh, uh, tensioner out and I'll put the contact um, bracket on there so um, yeah so just letting you guys know where I'm at.